Bubble Bobble, the quest for junk food. Welcome to another episode of The Completionist, and today guys I'm tackling one of my old classic favorites that I actually challenged the continue guys many moons ago to play. And that, my friends, involves two dragons, some bubbles, and a lot of fruits and vegetables, and weird items like books and crosses and shoes. Lots of shoes. Bubble Bobble. So, micro story here. When I was a kid, I used to rent from a mom and pop video store. And at this store, they had three games for rent. Mario Brothers, Werewolf, and Bubble Bobble. I always rented Bubble Bobble because of how hard it was. But Beardman, why are the two cute dragons from Busta Move starring in this game? Why is it the first actual NES game on the show that wasn't a part of a collection series? When are you gonna finish the All-Stars pack? When are you gonna finish the Zelda collection pack? When are you gonna finish the Super Mario All-Stars Zelda collection pack? Congrats, Greg. You've successfully managed to create a long-running joke that has actually annoyed me more than any time you've ever said the word bears. All right. I forgot about the- Nah, Doc Christ, no! BEARS! So our story begins with- Ah, Christ, sorry, one second. <laughs> Stupid Nintendo! So our story begins with a lot of unknowns from the start. We don't know what the game is about except that it's got these two dino lizards. It's insanely adorable, and it's all flashy. Right off the bat, you can play with a friend. Oh, pick me! I recommend playing with a friend. It's really the most fun and only way to play the game. Oh, I'm a friend, pick me! Now, this game was an arcade cabinet back in the day, and since then it's been ported to several consoles, but I really experienced this first on the Nintendo. Pick me! With that said, since this game was a cabinet, it was designed to be a quarter muncher, which means I need a friend who's really great at video games. Pick me! Oh, well, that ain't me, I ain't good at games. Which is why I've chosen Gung Ho Al. Hey everybody, it's Gung Ho Al. Believe. Just believe. With Gung Ho Al on my side, no one will stop us in our quest for our ultimate goal. Gerard? What is your ultimate goal? I know that based on the box art, we control two cute dragons, Bub and Bob. And I guess we can start out by reading the opening paragraph here. Now it is the beginning of a fantastic story. Let us make a journey to the Cave of Monsters? Why do you want to go to the Cave of Monsters? Let alone, why is it a fantastic story? Well, I guess Al and I will have to find out for ourselves. The quest of the applesauce under the tree! That doesn't make any sense. Makes more sense than half the stuff you say. Yeah, well, no. No, yeah, you're, you're right. Created by Taito, this game was an arcade cabinet designed to eat your quarters. The amount of frustration from how hard this game is through the roof. Got five bucks? Not anymore. Say goodbye to it. Eh, I don't like money anyways. But wait, yes I do! One of the more popular ports of this game is for the Nintendo, which is a platform I first discovered it on. And I actually think it's superior. Luckily, they've been a lot more kind to us on the NES version, considering they've given us passwords and such. And money? But we're getting sidetracked a bit. Presentation-wise, I tip my hat to this game. There's tons of vibrant colors here. The level designs are unique and fun to look at, with each level changing its layout. One second, you're on a normal platforming level, and the next, you're in a level shaped like an enemy. Even sometimes spelling out words and things that don't necessarily make sense in the overall representation of the game design. It's all in great fun. Dear God, make this song stop! Greg, that's the horrible truth of this game. There's only one song, and one song alone, that plays throughout the entirety of this game. And you know what? I love it. I love it so much that I asked you guys, the awesome Team Beardman, to give in and sing along with me in this theme. For you, Beardman. Bum, 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 bum. Da 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 da
Bubble Bobble's gameplay is repetitive, clunky, and all out bad owls crazy. And you know what? I love it. You have to fight your way through 100 levels filled with monsters. A hundred levels? Oh, why a hundred levels? We don't even really have a story to go off of. In order to beat one screen, you must defeat all the enemies on screen. Killing enemies is pretty easy. You and your friend must spit up bubbles repeatedly. Those bubbles then capture the enemies, and then you pop them. Popping the bubble will then make the enemies die and burst into different food products, jewels, and much, much more. What the hell's going on in this game? Where's that damn monkey called Spanky? I know he's here with his pineapple monsters. What's even crazier is that there are power-ups that do insane things. Crosses that do things like filling the screen with water, murdering everyone, shoes that make you jump and run fast. All in all, what makes these power-ups so exciting is that you really have no idea what's going to happen next, especially if you just want to collect all the things. Why are there letters floating on the screen? If you spell the word extend, you will be shown a tiny cinematic and be given extra lives. A lot of this game, like most early NES games, is based on score. The higher the score, the better off you are. I think one big problem I have with Bubble Bobble is the fact that there are no bosses in the first 100 levels of this game. This game could have used a dynamic change. After you've traveled your way through all the levels, it's time to find out what the end of our story is. What the hell is that? Hold the line! That thing is weird. Together as one! Well, at least we know what our story is now. It's the Babe Syndrome. Save the babes! Hotties. This boss fight is actually really hard if you're playing by yourself. In fact, playing this game by yourself will depress you because when you do beat this game, it recommends that in order to get the true ending, you need to play with a friend. Really sucks if you finally get the balls to do it on your own. In order to hurt the boss, you have to climb to the top and collect the lightning-based bubble. Blow your bubbles, then pop them with your opposite side facing. A lightning bolt will fly out of your butt and across the screen, hopefully hitting the boss. This is actually really, really frustrating, and while having a friend does help this fight do it much quicker, you'll find that your friend may or may not be a nuisance to you. Hey everybody, it's Gung Ho Al. Buongiorno. Okay, Al, listen to me. Spit the bubbles and then pop them. That's all we have to do. Split or cracker, I'm gonna pop them in. Yes, wait, no, okay. No, you spit the bubble, then you pop it and we'll be good to go. Split or crapper, I'm gonna clock a glockle in. Al, what are you doing? No, no. What is happening? I can't even. What is going on? I don't. What? How are you doing this? This is the. Okay, fine. I guess we just beat the game. I literally, I don't know what just happened. I am the best player on their team. Well, we did it, Al. We did... Wait, that's not the real ending. That's not the real ending? Uh-oh, Al hit the deck! I am a paladin in Spanish. Commence angry video game jihad rant! What the f***? You mean to tell me that there's more to do? I beat 100 levels, but what else can there be? It turns out, actually, there's a crystal ball item you have to obtain in level 99 that will open a hidden door, but it's really hard to get. You gotta be quick on your toes to get that ball and then run to the door, which is inhabited by enemies. Alright, that's not so bad. 
followed by secret levels! Granted, these levels are fun, but that's another, what, 12, 13, 14 more levels you have to put up with and beat the boss again! Great! So you beat the boss again, and you got the happy ending! All the girlfriends are saved, and apparently, Bub and Bob were humans after all! Fantastic, I guess! Guess I'm done with this game, and, uh... What's... what's that? Uh... It's a code! Okay. I wonder what that code does. Super Bubble Bobble! Alright, well, we'll just play this... What? 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 Gerard, no! 116 more levels that are more difficult with enemies and challenges before! This is getting ridiculous! Well, that's the point of old NES games, Gerard. They're meant to be played for hours on end. And let's be real, if you really didn't want to deal with this crap, you can just Google all the passwords yourself. <laughs> You didn't actually Google them, did you? <laughs> Completion bonus is a sound test? No, thank you. Bum, 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 bum. There, there, Shirako. It's okay. Look, I think we've all learned a valuable lesson today. It's that old games are just that. They're old. They were created not only with passion and heart from those glory days of gaming, but they were intended to steal all of your hard-earned dollars in the arcade. That's all. Gerard? Team Badman, assemble! <laughs> In all seriousness, with all that hard BS behind the entire scale of the game, Bubble Bobble is a great time, especially if you have a really good friend who is willing to stick it out with you to the end. You completionists out there might not really enjoy the entire trek, so go ahead and just use Google if you want. With that in mind, guys, this game gets my completionist rating of... Play it! Play it! That's all the time I have for today, guys, so as always, leave your suggestions for the future of the show in the boxes below. If you like this Zelda shirt I'm wearing, you can go ahead and check it out on the Yeti. That's T-H-E-Y-E-T-E-E. -E -E -E. No, they didn't sponsor me. I just, last week you guys asked about that Metroid shirt that I had, and uh, I've been buying a lot of shirts from them. So if you like t-shirts about video games, uh, check them out. The link for this shirt is in the description below. Also, next week I'm going to be at PAX Prime, so if you're going to be at PAX, come say hello to Greg and myself, Alex. We're all going to be there, just there to meet you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, we're going to make a video out of it too. Hopefully nothing will go wrong this time around. Just show up in costume or whatever you want to bring, and hope to see you guys there. Now, if you excuse me, let's listen to the wonderful voices of Team Beardman. Enjoy! Mm-hmm. <laughs>